Hi, welcome to Studio Cloud's webinar on how to import clients into Studio Cloud. Before we begin, we just want to make a note that if you see anything in the webinar that doesn't match what you see on your screen, there's a possibility that we've done some updates and added some new features. So uh, please refer to the written documentation for the latest and greatest information on how to import clients. To begin with, uh, the question is where do you go to import clients? First of all, you want to go to the import clients window. Now, there's a, you can get it right here, import clients right there or you can go to settings and click on import clients. Doesn't matter, but they both lead to the same location. Uh, so we've now opened the import clients window. First thing we need to do is actually um, import a file, but before we do it, there's a few different options. Now, we have import from CSV, comma separated, import from CSV, a tab separated file, and I'm gonna explain what those are in a second, then we have, in a second. and then we have other uh, options that uh, you'll need to refer to the written documentation on how to import those as well as a v-card. So we're going to focus on these two which are typically the most common uh, ways of importing data into the most commonly used format to import data into Studio Cloud. Um, we have a comma separated file and a tab separated file. You notice there's two options there and so you're probably asking yourself which one do I use? Now I'm going to give you the technical way of figuring it out and then I'm going to show you the easy way. So to start off with um, let's look at a comma separated file. This right here is a comma separated file. Um, across the top here is a header. This is a list of uh, US uh, representatives. Um, and as you can see, you have first name, comma, last name, comma, office. That tells you what the, the different, um, that's just for our, our for us to know it. Um, the, the computer doesn't need to know that. But then you have a separation of a comma between the first and last names. That means that if you see commas all over the place like this, it means that the file is co comma separated. If you open up the file and it has tabs in it, like this one does, that means it is tab separated. Now, that's a lot of work. Uh, you don't need to do that. The easiest way to figure out which one you have is let's go in here and we're going to import a CSV file, a comma separated one, but we're going to select the tab separated one and see what, and I'll show you what happens. It imported and put everybody in the very first column here. And so right now you know that this is the wrong format, so the easiest thing to do is just select all right there and then delete those clients. And let's go ahead and import um, uh, the right CSV file, which is a comma separated one. And now you can tell right there it's um, in the right columns. So uh, now that we look at this, um, I just shrunk that down there, but that says business name and that is not the business name, that's actually the first name. So let's go ahead and go in here and go to first name, we're going to just change these to match up, last name, street, and then uh, this is the Washington City, and then it's the state, uh, I believe it's a province, but we'll categorize it as a state, and then right there um, we have the zip code, and then over here we have the phone number, and uh, then we have a lot of other columns in here, and the options are, and this goes with any of you, you can type in an email address, um, and you can do that, but if you don't have any data in there, uh, what you want to do is just change it to blank. And so we're going to remove all these, we don't have any notes. And that's the uh, customer number, so it pre-populates to zero, but it'll ignore that if it's just blank. And then we have uh, tags over here, and so we're going to show you how to tag people. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just tag these first two, three people here. And uh, we're going to go group operations, and um, we're going to tag those th the first three people that I selected. And we're going to say, uh, um, these are some tags that I've already created. Let's say this is a sports lover. And we're going to apply it to tag number one, which is the first one there. And then go ahead and click tag. And then we have it, the first three that I did. Looks like I didn't, I missed, I missed one up there. But um, you see the point here is that I've now tagged those. And you can also um, type in a tag. So you could say, uh, or you could import it as well. So if you import a tag with your, uh, your file, it will just show up right there. And so uh, let's, and so you could type in a tag, whatever you want for the tag. Um, but the easiest thing to do if you want to is just to go in here to group operations, select all, 
and then uh, let's go ahead and apply it to tag three. It doesn't matter which one you apply, but you, you only have three options. Tag one, two, or three are the only tags that you can import. That means that in the importing process, you can import up to three tags per client, um, but you can add more. And let's just go, um, let's just, for example here, let's just say mark these all as students, and we'll just do it for tag uh, three, just to, for an example here, and it's applied it all to them, all of them. All. So uh, we've now done that for all the tags, and so we don't we want to mark these other guys as off. And let's let's actually uh, I'm going to step through what's all uh, what these options are. Business name is the name of the of the business that the client may work for. Um, first name, last name, uh, first name and last name is required. But once again, um, well I, I guess I didn't mention it. If let's go to the, let me show you the group operations real quick. You can select clients with missing first or last name right there, and then um, it will select them all, and then you can delete them. If you want to remove clients, the first and last name is required. If you do not want to remove them, you don't. You can leave them in there, and you, you'll click save, and it'll pop up a window saying, um, "We've detected clients," and I'm paraphrasing. We've detected clients that are missing the first or last name. Do you want to replace? Do you want to replace that blank first or last name with the word unknown? And if you click yes, then it will go ahead and import them. Another option you have here is that you can uh, check to see whether the clients have already been imported into Studio Cloud, um, and you can also check to see whether the clients have an invalid email address. And this last one is, is important in case you're doing like an email marketing campaign, you want to remove everybody that's not relevant. So we're gonna I'm gonna continue down here. Uh, zip and postal record, email, phone number, home phone, work phone, cell phone. You can import all those notes. If you have two columns um, that have notes in them. If you uh, just, so you, let's say this column and uh, this column are both notes, it will merge them. So it will combine the two to be one big note section. Um, and that, that applies for all the categories. Um, we also have a customer number and this right here is, let me just remove that one, is if you want to have your customer start off with a certain customer number, otherwise uh, um, Studio Cloud will go ahead and assign a custom number to them. Then we have tag one, two, and three. Then we have birthdays, and let me give you more space here to see. The birthdays, uh, they do require that format, so day, day, um, month, month, year, 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 or you choose. Then we have anniversaries that can also be imported. And then we have this thing called parent number. Um, the parent number is a little bit more complicated. It's if you want to import people with relationships. And so what you do for parent number is you first import all of your clients that are, uh, you have to import um, all of them first. And then you, let's say you're doing a, a, a relationship between a, a father, son, or something like that, a, a parent and a child. You import all the parents first, and then you come in here and you click parent ID, and you would need the customer number of the parent. So let's say you imported all your parents first, then you came back and you want to import all your children's. You would need the the uh, the customer number of the parent, and I'm once again I'm assuming this is a list of children that you have here. And then when it imports it, it'll go through and match up. Okay, this um, this uh, child is related to this parent, and it'll create a relationship. And uh, it doesn't actually say it's a child-parent relationship. When you use this importing process, it will just say related. Um, so it, that's only if, that only applies if you want to import. Uh, pe people with relationships. Okay, so we've now gone through, we've, we've tagged them. Um, let's go ahead, well, we don't want the student, let's go ahead and change that tag. Um, let's just change it over to uh, Sports Lover. And boom, it changes right there. Um, we've now done everything. You can add, if you need to, you can add, click that Add Client button, and now we'll add a client, and then you can just type in all the information, you'll just add a blank, a blank space for a client and you can type in all the information and you can in this window edit the client as well. This covers everything you need to do to import a client and then you just click save and you uh, sit back and let it go through the whole importing process um, and uh, you're done. And we're going to let it uh, go through, it's going to first, uh, well we won't, I won't let you uh, stay here while it imports but it's going to go through and import all the clients and then sync them to Studio Cloud if you have the Cloud Booster Employee Boost account. That covers importing clients. Uh, uh, hopefully, you uh, can get. If you have any questions, re refer to our written tutorials, or you can uh, go to the forum, or you can go to our live chat. And uh, hopefully, um, you can get all your clients imported into Studio Cloud as uh, easy as possible.
Thank you.